Hello, everybody, and welcome to the city of surprises, Berlin, Germany, for the FIBA Eurobasket round of 16, the battle between Greece and the Czech Republic. Ukraine falling to Poland, Finland winning against Croatia, and now Italy have just stunned Serbia, uh, the team that a lot of people thought would go all the way. Well, they are out in the round of 16, and now the Czech Republic will try to follow suit by surprising another team that people are picking to win this competition, Greece, who have the superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo in their team. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. And Mike, every game has finished 94-86 today in Berlin. On September 11th, it has been the craziest of days. You can't make it up. Different games, different styles, different teams, players, all with the same result. And one more excellent matchup with underdog Czech Republic against one of the favorites. And again, we saw the first big upset last game. Amazing days of basketball here about to be capped off with another matchup between the Czech Republic and Greece. Well, the funny thing is Italy beat Serbia in Belgrade last year. Okay, they didn't have Nikola Jokic, but they beat them anyway to qualify for the Olympics in that FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament. Now we have a Czech Republic team getting ready to take on Greece, the team they beat in the final of the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament in Victoria to qualify for the Tokyo Olympics. Now, that team did not have Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, uh, it just is weird how things are aligning right now well again those were results from the past that give czech republic or let's say italy confidence but the main factor we have at play today is the health of thomas sadaransky it's amazing that sati has been able to lead the group stage of eurobasket in assists after rolling his ankle and really not being at full strength he elevates the team here with the Czech Republic not on the same level of a Luka Doncic with Slovenia but he makes his teammates better and he's been at half speed hobbled in their group stage in Prague I know everyone with Czech basketball had much higher hopes than the finish they're happy to be here but for them to pull off the upset they need Thomas Sadaransky to be Thomas Sadaransky. Well, as we look at Giannis Antetokounmpo, I know that Italy were hoping to have Danilo Gallinari this year. He went down with injury, yet they have pulled together as a team, played with the spirit of a team. They played for their country tonight. They played for their coach who was ejected. And I think the Czech Republic, if they really think about it and they really focus, they've got a chance in this game tonight. And that is despite the presence of Giannis Antetokounmpo and this really good Greek team. You know, they've been in the wars. I think all bets are off. I really am convinced that uh, anything can happen. And for me, that's great. I, I, love, I love the unpredictability of this competition. The challenge for the Czech Republic team, how do you stop Antetokounmpo? Do you throw bodies at him and try to shrink the floor and pack the paint? If they do choose to put bodies there, you have a great passing point guard like Nick Kalaitis, who will find the Greek shooters. It's a very difficult matchup, this Greek team. Lots of experience, lots of talent, great coaching from Demetrius Tatoutis. Again, this is why they're one of the pre-tournament favorites. Yeah, two really good coaches in this one. Nana Gunsberg at the helm of the Czech Republic. And uh, we'll talk more about that in just a second. For now, we are gonna have the playing of the national anthems.
Well, what a tremendous environment, atmosphere, vibe. The city, the Eurobasket Trophy is in the house tonight. These two teams, they would love to get their hands on that. And these three fine referees, Oscars Luchis, Johan Rosso, and Karen Baki of France, Latvia, and Turkey. So Rosso of France, the crew chief tonight, the Latvian. Oscar is on the left, and Karim Baki from Turkey on the right. And we'll look at some of the key players, some of the players we want to focus on, and also we'll look at the starting fives and the rosters. So we'll start with the Czech Republic, and you've already talked about Sati, Tomas Satarensky. Those numbers would probably be even better, but the fact that this is what he has done against Israel uh, at that moment, that game they had to win, that was an impressive performance. Sa Sati is the leader. He's a leadership personality. Uh, he's done great things with the Czech Republic, and, and this is his partner, Jan Vesely. Again, Jan has been an outstanding player for Fenerbahce uh, in Europe. Uh, again, played in the NBA outstanding runner of the floor rim protector and coach ginsburg has done an excellent job with the czech republic uh the great run in china the run to the olympics again they've accomplished so much and, and czech republic in history has been an ice hockey country and now basketball has really grown and, and taken a great foothold within the czech republic and, and you were an assistant coach in that Eurobasket team back in 2013 in uh, Slovenia when they played in Celia. And we saw a young Thomas Santoransky, a young Jan Vesely coach uh, playing. And, of course, the head coach was Pavel Vodinsky. Very good friend. good friend of yours. Yes. So Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks needs their introduction. And look at those numbers. I mean, 29.5 points per game. He's such a difficult matchup. Czech Republic. Who do you put on him? Do you put Vesely on him? Do you put Andre Balvan on him? Again, but Greece is not only about the Greek freak. We have Tyler Dorsey. Again, he's been outstanding, 47% from three. You know, shot maker. Demetrius Etudis, high-level coaching experience. Again, under Zelko Obradovic, he, he, was, he learned the coaching, you know, trade and has gone on to an outstanding career of his own. Taking over the Greek team here with high expectations, high hopes. And now here we are, the knockout stage in Berlin. So Greece, the last time they won this uh, tremendous competition, it was in Belgrade, well, Serbia Montenegro overall, but it was in 2005 when they had that incredible come from behind victory in the semifinals against France. And then they beat Dirk Nowitzki in Germany in the final. Of course, Nowitzki was the MVP. But one year later, Greece made it all the way to the World Cup final, FIBA Basketball World Cup final in Japan. Uh, they did that by beating the USA in the semifinals. And they did get bronze in 2009 in Poland. So I think Greek fans are hungry to get back uh, to that level to where they are getting at least to the podium. And I think they, they firmly believe they can win this competition. But I'll tell you what, there's a long way to go. Tomas Santoransky, Yadamir Bohacic, 
Jomer Bahacek, Jan Vesely, Martin Kries in the starting five tonight, along with Thomas Kinslink, Patrick Auda, Wojtek Gruban, Andres Baldin coming off the bench, along with uh, Paterka, Seinal, Jelenic, and Vic Krejci, the young NBA up-and-coming star. I don't think he's playing too much, but uh, certainly has a lot of promise. And he's got a chance to impact the game here today. He, his playing time is varied in the, the group phase. So Tyler Dorsey, Nick Kalatis, Big Papa, Papa Giannis, Costas, Papa Nicolau, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, along with his two brothers, Costas and Thanasis, coming off the bench. Luntzis, Larizakis, Agravanis, Slukas, Papa Nicolau. It's a, it's a team that is loaded, but listen, you know what? You talk about past results. You talk about who should win this on paper. You talk about who's in that Greek team. You know, if he's not the best player in the world, he's certainly one of the top two or three players in the world in Tete Kumpo. But the game has to be played. It has to be played. And the Czech Republic ultimately did what they had to do. They survived despite the adversity with Satoransky, and they advanced. Well, they're here. They have an opportunity. And we've seen what opportunity can do for a team that plays with their heart like Italy. Czech Republic hopes to follow in their footsteps. Mike, this is a Czech Republic team, a country you do not want to catch on the wrong day. They will they will beat you, and they will send you home. So like, Greece have to be ready. The core has been developed over years. They've had success together. They've been on the big stage. But you have definition at the point with Sadoransky and definition at the five with Vesely. And then the role players around them. There's good depth. Balvan, Auda in the post. There's good three-point shooting. It is really a dangerous team that has accomplished a lot in the last several years. Oh my goodness, the hair standing on the back of our necks as the fourth round of 16 game of the day and the last round of 16 game uh, is about to start here in magnificent Berlin. The city that should be on everybody's bucket list if they haven't been here before because it is quite simply an amazing place. Hello, everybody. We're underway in Berlin, the round of 16 here at the FIBA Eurobasket. 2022, the last round of 16 game. And it's Greece taking on Czech Republic. And Giannis Santetokounmpo comes out and misses with his first attempt of the game. And Tomas Satoransky has obviously had injury issues, ankle problems, it's limited his effectiveness. And we're about to see where he is. He starts tonight. Vesely, he misses. And remember, these teams have a lot of recent history. Jelenic falls over, or Priest falls over and gets up. And good defense by Kislink. Knocks it away from Tyler Dorsey. 
Again, we've got a wonderful point guard matchup here, Sadaransky against Kalathis. And it's Bohacic that brings it up against Papa Nikolaou. Vesely on the baseline, rattles out. Here he comes. Antetokounmpo tries to work his magic in this game for Greece as they try to get back to the promised land. And Satoransky called for a push. Czech Republic number eight, Tomas Satoransky, first person, yes, is followed up for Steve Fox. Mike, my partner here in crime, has uh, he was the assistant coach for the Czech Republic. And of course then, more recently, the head coach of Poland's national team for several years. So he has watched these teams play a lot of basketball over the years. Here comes Kalathis. And oh. the alley -oop to Big Papa. What a, what a beautiful dribble move by Nick Kalathis. And then the fantastic delivery. Beautiful pass. His link into Vesely. And again, we, we see the, the skill in pick and roll as a diver from Vesely. Great pocket pass from Kislink. There's Kalathis. Papianis again. Stepping into the spotlight. Last pass again to Vesely. Here's Chris. Tete Kumpo gets it over to Papa Nikolaou. That looks good, it is. Strong start for the Greeks. And now Kalathis takes it away. Gets it to Tete Kumpo. Look out. That's the player that most of these fans have come to see tonight. I mean, he was a jet in transition there, Jeff. Bohacic puts it up from three, and Antetokounmpo rebounds and brings it up. He pulls up for three-pointer, and nobody boxes out Papa Nikolaou, who scores with a putback. And Nando Ginsburg has to call timeout. 11-2 to starts for Greece. Well aware of the upsets. The thrilling games that have been taking place, they want to start faster than they have. This Great start for Greece. Again, Czech Republic has to take away the easy baskets if they want to have a chance. Here's that dribble move. Draws the reach from Vesely and a beautiful lob finish above the D. Is it safe to say that it's tough to guard this Greece team because they have two guys that can go up and grab the ball at the rim? I mean, Giannis, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, you just throw the ball anywhere near him. You talk about like a wide receiver in football having range to be able to go out and jump up and high and catch the ball. He's such a target to catch and finish playing so high above the rim. And then you combine that with the special passing skills of Kalathis. Really wonderful combination for basketball fans. Kislink has been really important for the Czechs. His penetration especially. There's Sati. Bohacic fouled by Papa Nikolaou, and looks like he got him where it hurts. Is that possible? I hope it's not a like a tweak a of a groin. And 
it goes. Set to rack, or Kislink, bounce pass to Vesely. Beautiful late delivery, drew the defense. Excellent bounce pass, easy two for Vesely. Good hands by Satoransky. Great save by Vesely. Now Satoransky dribbling head up. Kislink taking on Tyler Dorsey. Puts it up. May have needed another pass. Dorsey, he wants to get in on the act. He gets it over to Papianis. And Papa Nikolaou hustling for the basketball, but it is corralled by Satoransky. And it goes, and again, the patience pays off, and they're really getting Vesely going early. Vesely is so good diving to the rim and pick and rolls, using his length and athleticism. Again, that combination, Sadoransky to Vesely, quality for the Czech Republic. Kalatha steps back for three. Three, three, three. The scouting report on Nick Kalatha used to be non-shooter, but he has improved his game. Not just a pick and roll player, makes you pay when you go under. Kislink. Kissing that Rubon is going to come in for Kislink. And again, the dump to Papianis. He misses, he sticks with it. And that height, just playing volleyball with himself up above the rim. Wesley this time takes the jumper. <laughs> He's carrying his team right now. Great job by Sadoransky, pressuring, creating the, the help, opening up Vesely and a nice shot. Dorsey for three. And goes out of bounds. Over to the Czechs. Again, it's been so impressive despite being hobbled by the ankle issue. Sadoransky, though not 100%, has led the Eurobasket group stage in assists, and you can see how he's making his teammates better here today. So, in fact, it's going to be Wojtek Ruban and Andrej Balvin who come in, and Chris goes out of the game, and Bohacic, so Kiesling stays in. So a little more size on the court here. Ruban gets in, Balvin keeps it up and puts it up and in. That's a different problem for Greece to worry about. Right, and these two guys have been such a key part of Czech success over the last years. And good defense for Vesely, forcing the turnover. On Giannis. So Lucas is going to check into the game for Kalathis. Here it is again. And Balvin doing what Balvin needs to do, to crash the boards. So we see now Balvin in as a five. Vesely now as a four, matched up with Antetokounmpo. Czech Republic now with a big front line. Satoransky for three. It's good. And the Czech, great. Boy, don't you know how much value he would place on a win over Greece tonight. It would be a signature win in his career if somehow he could help pull it off. That three-pointer cuts it to a 16-13 lead for Greece and a timeout. Let's play. You bring it in, unless we have a problem or maybe some kind of a zone. 
but other than that, we go 12 deep. And you bring it. Shlukas, Tyler. Mike, if there's one, I think, fact that's indisputable in this, you would say that this Czech Republic team has more continuity. They've been together longer than this Greek team that's assembled here. And it's a big advantage. You have guys playing for each other. You have guys that have been on the big stage of the World Cup, of the Olympics. And again, you've got a lot of guys who are towards the end of their national team run. There was a lot of talk with the, the Czech team that some of these veteran players that have been great for the, the national team for a decade, you know, this may be the final run. Again, they really have a lot to play for here. We're talking about Ruban, Satoransky, Balvin, Vesely, Bohacic, Chris. Here is Lucas. And Dr. Compo passes it back outside to Papa Nicolau. Another miss. Kisling over to Ruban. Good, we've got a tie game. Check it out. Voita Ruban plays with great confidence. He'll play for the London Lions this, this season. Again, really experienced and confident wing shooter. Instead, the Compo decides to put up the jumper. Here's Satoransky. Pass to the line is Vesely and the Czech Republic have taken the lead. You can just see the team working together, reading the game, solving the puzzle of the Greek defense. Post Balvan, nice flash. Vesely easy too. Dorsey working for his shot. And a late foul called on Kislink. Referees will. Don't mind you coming up and talking. If it's respectful, here is Vesely, who has had a sensational start to the game. Kislink comes out as we look at the replay. And look who checks in, Vic Krejci. What do you think about that? I think he's got so much potential and can really impact this game. Played a lot in the NBA at the end of the season. And Thanasis and Petacompo has checked into the game. Papianis has gone out. Kalathis getting ready to come back in, assuming that's going to be for Dorsey. Also, Andres Senal, who was huge in the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament for the Czech Republic has checked into the game. Well, the magic of this competition is just on full display in this round of 16 in Berlin, where we have seen some of the game's greatest players in the world on this stage, including one tonight. He's guarding the ball. And they get it to Balvin, and he puts it up and in. How intelligent is this Czech team right now? They know how to play together. Balvin, great low post position, and he could finish right at the basket. Kalathis back out to Slukas. And there is the rebound. Anta Decompo, Thanasis Anta Decompo coming over the back and fouling Balvin. The winner of this game will take on Germany in the quarterfinals. And judging from the way that Germany has been playing, that is not 
very much of a reward because that will be a very tough game for whoever wins this game. But right now, as Balvin misses that shot, the Czechs leading by two. And there just are no guarantees. Some of the fans wanting a over and back violation. Papa Petro has checked into the game and he scores. He's got to establish himself in the front court before it can be over and back again. Great pass from Antetokounmpo there. What do you think Greece needs to do here to kind of get control of the tempo and feels like they're being sucked into the Czechs game. Here's the Rubon. Malvin follows it up, misses the putback, but the ball goes outside to St. He puts it up and blocked. Great play by Papa Petru. Hey, look at that. Theo Papalukas is in the house. The man that led Greece to the title in 2005. And we've got a timeout on the court. It's a technical That's foul called on Thanasa Santacompo for celebrating his block in front of the wow. Czech bench. So a technical foul, if that is indeed the case, it's definitely, you got the block at the end of the quarter. So at the end of one, it's Greece 20, Czech Republic 20. Things started well enough for Greece, but Papianis especially. And uh, as we watch the highlights, there definitely has been a technical foul called on Thanasis and Tetecumpo for celebrating. Maybe we'll see the replay of that. I think he just expressed his joy and emotion over the block, but he directed it at the bench. You know, right now, when you look at the, the Greece offense, you know, the question is, how are they spacing the floor with their shooting? Where is Giannis Antetokounmpo? Scanning the barcode to get courtside 1891, folks. Stream schedules and scores. And back to that point you were making. Yeah, the, you know, when, when Kalates is out there, great playmaker, great passer. He can play pick and roll and set players up. You've got to put shooting around him. But the Czech Republic is not going to be out. They're going to pack the paint off of several of these Greek players. So well, Wojtek Rubon makes the free throw and this could help Greece actually, could fire them up a little bit more. Their coach was telling him, Intuitus, hey guys, we gotta be a little bit more aggressive. And here's the big lineup for Czech with Balvan at the five, Vesely at the four, and the Antetokounmpo brothers are matched up defensively. Balvin. And turns, took the shot, and unsuccessfully. Now, Greece looked to take the lead, and Tetecumpo trying to find his way in. And fortunate that his pass uh, was tapped by Kalatas over to Papa Petru. And Kalatas goes up and banks it in. Again, now they have Giannis setting the middle pick and roll as a five with Kalatas. That's a great combination for Greece. Andres saying, oh, number 19, hitting the three. And now Krejci with the interception. Look at him go. You see he's got his left leg wrapped. He's been battling injuries, but he is a huge talent. Now Balvin again. And this pass intercepted by Kalathis. Czech Republic number 19, Andres. 
two post opportunities for Andre Balvin. Missed the finish on one, turned the ball over, passing out. Again, check trying to establish that post up inside. Giannis Antetokounmpo out of the game now for Greece. Here's Lucas, back to Kalathis. He's hit one three. Mm. This pass over to Thanasis to the left corner, and missed everything. And then it falls. Kalathis able to pick up the basketball, but it hasn't hit anything. So Lucas has to put it up. He gets it off just in the nick of time. How about that? Wow. Vesely. Back out to Balvin. Balvin, rather. Saturansky. Saturansky, tough shot over Papayanis. Think they're yelling wolf there? Yes. Here goes Slukas. Just hit the three. Papa Petru looks good. It is! Again. The diver drew the defense. Great awareness from Slukas. Great big three-point shots here for Greece. Rubai, clutch right over Big Papa. Very good coming off screens, curled it into the lane. Nice shot. Lucas kind of lost it and almost went in the basket. I think that was going to be a pass. Big Krejci bumped by Thanasis and Tetecompo, his second. So he's going to come out, and Akarabanis, who's very aggravating to opponents, is going to check in. Balvin goes out of the game, and as we look at Lucas, this was right at the end of the shot clock. Look at this. He releases it. Point With, two? Yeah, point two, point one. Amazing. But again, that's the floor, the oh. court awareness. So Tetecopa has three fouls, and meanwhile, Ruban puts the Czech Republic back in front. Nice backdoor cut, similar to the Slovenia sideline play. Ruban using his length. I remember the last time Tetecopa was at the Eurobasket. It was in France, in Lille, and as you look at Slukas taking the shot, Greece had the great group phase competition. Of course, he's a much bigger and better player now at Tetecompo than he was then, but Spain beat them. Do you remember? That was in the quarters. Vesely turning around and scoring, and it's 30 to 27. And Vesely having himself quite a game. 12 points in the first half. Kalathis drives in. He's fouled by Bohacic. He's just so smart. Penetrates. And as you can see, Vesely in between. And an excellent inside hand finish from Kalathis. Oh. Shooters bounce. So Kalathis ties it up. Oh, he falls over. Patrick checked into the game. Here he is spinning. Gets the pass to Vesely, who is just playing out of his skin right now. Another basket. Jan Vesely finishing everything in the lane. This game being played immediately after the shock of the tournament. Serbia, Nikola Jokic going out against Italy. Papayanis catches it down low. He gets rid of it. Back outside, Slukas penetrates over to Kalathis. He wasn't ready to shoot. He has to put it up. And Sadoransky does a great job of batting it over to Bohacic. Oh, well read, Slukas. So that's a veer back situation. We had an emergency switch, and Slukas, 
as the big takes Sadoransky, his responsibility is to veer back and get into the diving big man. That's a very alert defensive play. Slukas was good, but he exits Dorsey back, and Greece trailing. Kisling back in the game for the checks. Dorsey left open, so he puts it up and hits a three. This is a high percentage three point shooter. Stepped right into it, made the Czech Republic pay. Look at Kislink, and he loses his handle. Czech Republic won a timeout. Here's another look. 33 32, Greece on top. So Vesely has really been the uh, supplier tonight of points for this uh, Czech team. Great analysis how they can attack this Greek team because uh, he's not the guy that you think you're going to be running a lot of offense for. But Well, again, he's the diver and he's the guy that's going to be able to finish. So you have, he's seven for nine around the rim. He's hit a couple jump shots here, but this is Sadoransky making his teammates better. Dorsey on a two-way contract with Dallas, the Texas Legends. So they're going back stateside, having been playing for Olympiacos. So much NBA talent. A lot of these players either in the top clubs in Europe or and have played in the NBA or are in the NBA and have played in the top clubs in Europe. Kalathis, one of those players. And his pass batted back by Papianis. Now Papianis not able to control it. Greece had a tough game against Italy when they played in Milan, 85 to 81. Had kind of an awkward game for a long time against Great Britain before pulling away from them. This is certainly an awkward game against the Czechs. For Hacek. And Papa Petru wrapping up Patrick Alda. Catch Bohacic. Greece reaching in for the steal. Bohacic. He has to put it up. He gets in, and that was too late in the shot clock to try to pass the basketball. Bohacic is a very good three point shooter coming off screens and in transition. Good defense by Greece to force him into the drive. He just got into traffic, unable to complete the play before the shot clock went off. He really emerged at the World Cup where he was their second leading scorer and the Czechs finished an incredible sixth when a lot of people never even expected them to qualify for the World Cup. Much like your Polish team. Yeah, they had a wonderful run in China as well. Agravanis back to Kalathis. Well, Kalathis is knocking in the three-pointers. Making the game easy, penetrate pitch. 
And Kalathis almost getting another steal. The quick pass down low to Alda. And he's fouled by Agravanis. But again, Jeff, that is fantastic teamwork right there. Look at the quick ball movement. Keeping the ball high. Seeing his teammate Alda under the rim. Again, as you say, a core that has played a lot of basketball together. And you know, a lot it's of these... It's on display, isn't it? Yeah, and a lot of these guys, Sadaransky, Vesely, some of these guys will have a bigger name, but Alda has been a critical part of this team for many, many years. They're playing in Japan. Bohacic for three, get it! Right on cue, and the Czech Republic back in front. And that just can't happen. You've got to know your personnel. Late clock, he just lifts to the ball, presents himself at the top for the open three. Dorsey with Antetokounmpo back in the game. He gets it over to Papa Petru. Coming up on the two minute mark in the first half. And don't look now, but another close game is being fought here between these two teams and another great play. And again, the continuity. This Czech team knows how to play. Basically, they started a new tournament. They have struggled in Prague because of the Satoransky injury. They've started the knockout tournament. It's a different Czech team now. Timeout. Greece want to talk it over. Mike, should Greece be concerned now? Yeah, they've got to make some adjustments in what they're doing. You see, Bohacic plays with such a great tempo coming off the screens. He curls it and pressures the big and then drops it off to his teammate out at the rim. They know how to play together, but what Greece has to do is find a way to get easy baskets. You know, how are you getting Antetokounmpo shots right now? We saw them post him up once. He'll get the ball in a... In a top of the key situation you've got to use him to get easy baskets and create advantages for your team here's Antetokounmpo spins nowhere to go and oh boy they've called a foul and now they've called a technical foul on the Czech Republic Czech Republic number 12 so that was the spin. But again, Jeff, here you see four blue jerseys in the paint. So we've got to have some type of idea how we're going to create spacing for his drives and penetration. If you're going to pack the paint, then Antetokounmpo needs to get into the paint and kick it out to his teammates for wide open catch and shoot threes. Working together to attack the defense. You've got Dorsey out there. Balvin with the foul. The technical on Gins Ginsburg. Well, it's on the bench, but I'm assuming it's Ginsburg. But again, if you will pack the paint and put bodies in there for Antetokounmpo, he's got to make the right play, but that requires spacing and understanding together where we are on the floor. Right.
This is not a good sign for the fans to be chanting MVP. <laughs> we, saw, we saw it in the last game. The Serbian fans chanted that for Jokic, and they chanted it for Mitic. And we all know what happened. Italy beat Serbia. This isn't about any one player. This is about a team. And Greece have a real fight on their hands right now against a Czech Republic team that clearly has come to play tonight. Believing they can they can cause the upset. So three points. And I thought the Kumpo needs to come out of the game because of a cut. I believe. So Antetokounmpo, I mean, it's just the rule. He has to go. The referee is just applying the rule. If he has a cut, he has to get like a Band-Aid or something on it to get it to stop. He'll be right back. I mean, it's frustrating for Tudis, but... Santoransky and Bohacic from the corner hits off the rim. Kalathis races down the floor. He's going to try to go all the way. And they knock it off the rim, and Santoransky chases back to get it into the corner. Kislink was open, but Alda couldn't make the pass, so he took it all the way. Alda says, I will finish this right to the rim. He says, out of my way. Well, Patrick ought to know what to do with it. <laughs> Dorsey. Oh, wow, what a tip in for Papayanis. I think he was battling for the rebound, and it went in. Outstanding effort on the boards. Look at the cut from Kislink. Doesn't catch it, and fortunately for the Czechs, Dorsey was out of bounds when the ball touched him. So Kislik out. Ruban comes back in. And they make the pass to Alda, and he scores on the inbounds pass. And look at Papa, Papa Nikolau, frustrated, throws it off the basket support. And Alda's a good player. They have to respect him. Uh-oh, look out. And Tete Campo drives in, and no foul called. Looked like it might have been a charge. Vesely laughing down the court. There's so much traffic in the paint when Antetokounmpo has the ball. Sadoransky almost losing it. Oh, it goes behind the back. Look at that, Alda, are you kidding me? And right at the buzzer, almost goes in for Papa Nikolaou. Jeff, Thomas Sadoransky with fantastic court awareness. Here it is, picks up the loose ball. Behind the back pass. Again, high level IQ. And Patrick out of scoring to go to 10 points, and the Czech fans are celebrating. It's what they wanted to see back in Prague, where they had to wait for Berlin. They lead at halftime against Greece, 45 41. First half stats, we see Czech Republic shooting 59% from the field, really attacking together well, very efficient offense. Look at the 16 assists from the Czech Republic, great teamwork and ball movement, really playing together. Again, they've just had a better, clearer picture with their offensive possessions than the Greece team has. Vesely with 14, Auto with 10, and again, Kalatas sparking 
the Greece offense with his playmaking. Papayana's played well. This man just hasn't been allowed to play, really. Well, again, they've got to find ways to help him score. It can't be just give him the ball and let him try to go to the basket and overpower people. You need to give him floor space. You need to give him action. You know, again, if the right read is to get into the paint and move the ball to shooters, then that's the right play. This is what makes Luka Doncic so great. He will continually read the game and get the ball where it needs to go. Maybe this is a game because of the Czech Republic game plan that Antetokounmpo needs to be on the short roll or on the drive and be a distributor. But again, we have shooters on this team. Slukas, Dorsey. We have pick and roll players with Kalates. What about the preparation that Ginsburg gave this team, uh, especially emphasizing Vesely? Well, again, they know that Vesely is their finisher in the screen roll. You can see the players playing together, attacking with good ball movement, pace, and spacing. But again, this is a team that will be driven by the playmaking of Sadaransky. Vesely will be the finisher in the paint. Again, just a, a clearer picture offensively than the Greece team in the first half. Let's see what adjustments we can have. Well, Tudis, Tudis has uh, a little bit of time here to to turn this around, but what does this do to the psychology of a team? First of all, for the Czechs, they have to believe in their chances even more now, but for, for Greece, maybe just a little bit of doubt. I think, again, let's go back to the Sadoransky injury. They underperformed in Prague because Sadoransky was not able to be himself. He's had more time. He continues to impact the game in a great way. So that gives them hope. But again, you see the core and the teamwork of Czech Republic. This is a proven team that has been to the World Cup and been to the Olympics. They know how to play together. And today they're just attacking better together than the Greek team. And just to drive home your point about Sazeranski, how important he is to this team. Well, guess what, folks? He's got nine assists and five rebounds to go with his three points. Makes his teammates better. Czech Republic lead Greece 45-42 at halftime. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. See his average is Perry. Oh, nice pass. Goodness gracious me, Schroeder. Born to entertain. Again, look at this. Oh. Between the legs pocket pass, there's no ball pressure applied to Schroeder. Bukavich just puts it up. Count it. What a play from Bukavich, who just has become a very important player in this team, and it's not just defense. A little bit of hope here for Montenegro. If they can drill it. Oh, they're going to get it to Dublovich. And he goes old school, just lays it up. Again, Mihailovic in attack mode, beautiful play and pick and roll. He's really shown well here today. Lukovitis now trying to guard Brown. And they get it to Garuba! Usman Garuba dunks Spain into a six point advantage. Maybe the lob. Ooh, oh, look at this. Chanchar! Luka Doncic gets his first assist of the game. First bucket for Chanchar. No extra space, a great time. And this time, Carpe is not going to be denied. He goes in for the dunk. Austin <laughs> wins for the block. They're letting the time run down. They get it to Yokobitis. Oh, and they get it tipped Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We've got overtime. What more could you ask for? 
Knockout stage basketball. Doncic just scored for Belt for, for Slovenia. Here he is getting fouled and he scores. Three point play opportunity. And this time just an extraordinary finish from Luca. So such touch, such skill to be hit in, in an awkward position. Oh, look at Schroeder. Oh, he goes in for the dunk. How about that? Dennis the menace. Beautiful handoff, clear runway to the basket. Round of 16 game comes down to this. Fournier with a little runner short, but there's no goal at the putt back. Can you believe it? Big bad Rudy Gobert goes up for the putback dunk. And Rudy Gobert and boy Turkey are lucky they did not also blow the whistle on that play. Watch Osmani go up and go for the block. And that's what Rudy Gobert was saying. Rudy Gobert playing above the rim. Greece's fans came here tonight to see Giannis Antetokounmpo and their national team get a win to get to the quarterfinals. But the Czech Republic have got other ideas, and they lead at halftime, 45-42. And the...
line and you make short throw it. Okay? In the second one. Okay? On motion. Clear? Right? If, if we don't have to... So we can play motion from the side. So come, come kick like this. This direction. Okay? Uh, second position, we, we go to play five. Okay? So five. Let's be tough now. Okay? Let's be tough now. Right? Okay. Yes. Yes. One, two, three. Papagianis is behind you, then they have an extra defender to fill the pain. Then it's not that easy to attack. Then you gotta slow down and get into the set place. If you have, if you are on the same here, like, be the ribbon on the And Jeff, I want to point out, in the Czech Republic huddle. Yeah, scan in that barcode to get the Eurobasket app in your smartphone. Go ahead, Mike. Lubos Barton, very good friend of ours outstanding playing career with the Czech Republic, now a key member of the staff. Again, when the Czech Republic, my first years there, it was in the B division of national teams when Pavel Budinsky took over and started the Vrisi Yakolev fight like a lion movement. Lubos Barton was there, and it's great to see him, such a key part of this coaching staff, doing a great job helping out Coach Ginsberg and the Czech players. Yep, he was still a hooper when you were the assistant in 2013. I remember that at the Eurobasket. Second quarter, second half action is underway. Greece trailing by four points to the Czech Republic. We have a real chance to cause another shock here in Berlin. Papa Nikolau travels. So, Jeff, we see the first idea is a pick and pop with Giannis. He got to the second side. When the ball got reversed, and here's the drive. Look at Vesely just shrink the floor and pack the paint off Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo wide open out there. Give him the ball and let him take his shot and knock down a three. He's got to be a threat, and you've got to open up the floor space if you're Greece. Kisleek steps out of bounds. Four, four round of 16 games yesterday, four today. This is the last. We'll have an off day tomorrow and then the quarterfinals will get underway. Which of these teams is going to advance? Well, here's Giannis. Again, he's got to be a factor in the game. You've got to give him the ball and give these opportunities. He can make that shot. Alvin backs up Papa Giannis. Oh. Big Papa couldn't stop big, big Andre. Old school post move, Andre Balvan. And Tadokopo fouled by Balvin. So when you look at Antetokounmpo here, look at the play as we see Balvin. Great finish. Outstanding low post move. He got right under the rim and scored. But Kalethis will find you in pick and roll. But we see Antetokounmpo wants to finish everything at the rim. He's got to be able to have that Jan Vesely mid-range, mid-lane finish, and the game will open up <laughs> for this Greek team. Giannis makes the first. I mean, look at the front court from Czech Republic right now. You've got Balvan and Vesely, and then you've got a six foot seven point guard, six foot seven, you know, Wojtek Ruban out there. Their size and length, it's not easy to get to the rim right now. Ooh, just makes one of two, and Ruban rebounds the miss. Hands it off to Sato Ramsky. Balvin back outside, Satoransky, and the tip. Wesley had an opportunity. Great pass from Kalatas. And nowhere to go for Antetokounmpo. Ball goes to Dorsey. Has to get it to Kalatas.
Papa Nicolau back to Kalathis. It's good. I mean, we've seen Kalathis move the ball to the wings, then get into the paint and kick it back to him. Kalathis burying big shots for this Greek team. Huge shots. His link. Takes a very difficult shot and makes the reverse layup. How about that? Ooh. Antetokounmpo really active, trying to post up now. Look, two bodies right on him. Papadikolaou for three. Rattles out, and Kislink gets the rebound. Here's Satoransky again to Balvin. This is where Antetokounmpo wants to be, dribbling in the open floor. Dorsey, and a foul before the shot. So we've seen Greece try to pick and pop at the Kumpo, try to post him. They've had some good looks. Look at this. Outstanding finish. That's almost goal interference with Papayanis pulling on the, uh, on the net. Or his hands getting caught in the net. Where you just feel like this entire arena wants Giannis to come out and make a huge play. And instead, Tyler Dorsey kind of dribbling the ball through his legs, been double teamed and Jeff, loses it out Jeff, of bounds. Give credit to the Czech Republic. They are putting bodies on the ball. It's not just Antetokounmpo. They put two bodies. The answer for the Greek team is when you have two bodies on you, make a quick ball reversal pass and get to the second side. Again, it's two individual attack. They've got to use their teammates. Ruban. Falling to the right, maybe not the best shot. And again, Papa Nicolau over to Kalathis. Here's Antetokounmpo. Nice. Ulek gets it back. He's behind the arc. It looks good, but it was long. With Papa Nicolau with the rebound. Dorsey puts it up, and no good, but again a rebound, and then the handoff to Giannis, and he scores! That's more like it. Again, Kalathis is the connector. On the board, drops it off, and the athleticism and length, so difficult to deal with. Look, there's still three players right there contesting, making it difficult and it's a great finish, but to follow up on the point, when you have Tyler Dorsey facing two players, instead of trying to dribble one-on-one. -on -one, is getting excited. Yes. Swing it to the other side of the floor. Move the ball. If they're loaded up on one side, you've got to get to the second side and attack where there's space, make the game easy. Just a little bit more teamwork and the game will become easier for Greece. You saw his averages. He's got seven points, now eight. And it's just a one-point game. Vesely guarded and fouled by Papa Nicolau. Thinking about looking at this? And they're going to look at it to see if he was playing the ball. We will review the last play, the last foul, to see if it's unsportsmanlike or personal foul. Another angle, please. Again, please. Again. Go. Okay. We have two hands from behind. The right hand is going to the ball. He is not pulling. He's not holding. Okay. 
He's not grabbing. Normal speed, please. Normal speed. It's just a tap, it's not a grab, it's not a pull. So it's a personal foul. We remain with the personal foul. 550 on the shot clock, and it's on the floor, right? Okay, let's go. You show? Well, Mike, they, they call it a personal foul. Um, it looked like a mugging to me, but they had a good long look at it, and that's what they decided. Well, it, it's, <laughs> you and I were looking at each other kind of perplexed. And Vesely can rest assured that they weighed everything in that video review. So, Greece putting the pressure on right now. The time for the Czech Republic, and now offensive foul. And that, you know, that I'm not saying that they were wrong by making that call, but because they did, it wasn't two free throws and then possession out of bounds. Yeah. And instead, they get an offensive foul on Bohacic, which it is. Incredible how the game can change, isn't it? Opportunity now for Greece. Leslie, Antetokounmpo on the baseline! And Greece, go in front. He is freaking everybody out, Antetokounmpo. Look at this. I mean, great fadeaway here. You cannot block that, can't really contest it. He just jumps over the seven foot Vesely. Good contest, got a hand in his face, but the, sometimes it's good defense, but better offense. And there's Antetokounmpo finally creating a high percentage look for himself. So this was the first big play by Giannis. Hanging in the air, following through, getting the foul, getting the three-point play. And then we just saw him do this. I mean, that's such a great picture. You see not only Vesely there, but you see Balvan and you see Bohacic. Look at all three defenders using their length. So what you want to see, not only the post-touch, but if they're going to pack the paint, Post reaction, get some post reaction for a Dorsey, for a Slukas, so that you get some type of easy opportunity for your shooters. Sadaraski over to Hruban. Sadaraski still with nine assists and three points, along with his five rebounds. Bohacic for three, boy, taken confidently, coming out of the timeout. That's his game. He set up the screen well and buried the shot. Beautiful play, Yarmo Bohacic. Now the pressure goes back to Greece. Dorsey for three. Good hustle. Look at him get down. Oh, boy. Great hustle by Antetokounmpo to come down and affect that shot. Now he's got it. Open floor, look out. And the blocking foul. Vesely sends Giannis to the line. A good try by Vesely to give up his body. They just could not load to the ball and stop the ball. But here's Bohacic using the screen. Beautiful catch and shoot play off the screen there. How, how about Sadoransky with the give and go and looking like he's going to finish and then the length and shot blocking at the rim from Antetokounmpo, amazing. Well, it's because he hustled down the floor. Yes, he gave the defensive effort to impact the ball. And it doesn't come up on the stat as a block, but effectively it is. He changed the shot, impacted the play. The Greece fans are relieved that Antetokounmpo is kind of uh, asserting himself here.
Remember, the winner of this game takes on Germany. Imagine what must be going through Germany fans' minds. Well, the way Germany has played together, you know, you you got to be inspired by this teamwork from the Czech Republic. But again, you know, that's a tough team to contend with with the Antetokounmpo athleticism. Oh, Mahatik missed that one badly. And Tatekumpo, look out. And the foul. That was the first time, really, we felt like Antetokounmpo was in the open floor and was about to do something special. I mean, his ball handling skills are so impressive with the size, length, and athleticism. Wow. Paterka is going to check in. He's a good shooter. And Vesely goes out of the game, having picked up his third foul. Also to get a breather. Still got 14 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Interesting move to bring in Paterka, who has not played yet, while Balvan is still there on the bench. And this is the first. Yeah, Balvin has not had a great game. He's he's impacted the game. Again, with his the, size. Does Paterka, I mean, they're not just going to let him come out and shoot threes. No, but he does he, present that threat. It will, it will likely be switches from Greece defensively. And maybe they'll have some mismatches. Auda could post. Greece uh, moved in front. There's Sato Ransky, Ruban from the corner, and he's fouled, if you can believe it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How many times do you see it again? Kalathis goes in, gets the head up, and you can see that Ruban, whether you like it or not, he's trying to draw the fouls well. Again, Sadoransky with his penetration and playmaking. He's given opportunities for Bohacic and Ruban. Czech Republic drops into a 2-3 zone. Sadoransky now with 11 assists. Ruban with 12 points. Papa Nicolau over to Kalathis. Sadoransky will sit down, take a breather. And Papa Nicolau makes the first. Clutch free throws. Out to in. Sainal in. Tough. Catch by Ruban with Kalathis behind him. Tetacompo guarding Bohacic and Papa Nicolau fouls Patrick Auda. So Papa Nicolau sits down. And Ruban on the baseline. Papa Nicolau with three fouls. It's Lucas in the game, obviously. A big switch. Agravinas in the game. And Papa Petru. Tetsu Kumpo for three. And 
it goes back over to the Czechs. I suppose as you look at Ruban making the shot, this game is going according to plan for the Czechs. It's going exactly how they wanted to. They're they're slowing up the Greece offense. They're moving the ball, playing together, creating good shots for their players offensively. Bounce pass out of oh he gets rejected. And Antetokounmpo just swatted him, but if they called the foul, the body, yes, yeah. they have. And Antetokounmpo is saying, hey, Alda's grabbing me. Let's see on the replay. Well, I don't know how he could grab him. He did sure didn't grab him. I mean, you can't blame Intuitus for being upset because his team is the big favorites coming into this game and they're getting beat right now by the Czechs. He hasn't come up with a plan to take over this game, has he? 60 to 55. And don't forget, we watched Svetoslav Pezic in Serbia. Pezic, the legendary coach, might get it done earlier against Italy. Larenzakis in the game, hits a big three. He brings the emotion. Patrick out of spins, and Larenzakis knocking it away. Look at him. And here's a guy that's played so much for Greece over the last two European qualifiers campaigns, and now they have and now they have called a technical, I believe, on Laren Zakis for his overzealous celebration. I think it's on the bench. Okay. Yes, it is indeed. What would somebody on the bench have to do to get that foul? Say something or get up off the bench? Yeah, I, again, there was an emotional reaction because of the defensive play. We don't know what was said. Ruban for three, short. Giannis has it. Here comes Greece. Larenzakis, he feels it. And Alda. <laughs> well, he's, he was there that time. He signed the couple and. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he gets in, he scores, and he's fouled! He ties it, and now he's got a chance to put his team back up. The Czech Republic have done such an outstanding job putting numbers and bodies in front of Antetokounmpo the entire game. That time, there was a little space. He got to the rim and finished. Big basket to tie the game, and now the chance to take the lead. Thanasis, I mean, he is literally has just run out onto the court. And now the assistant coaches are telling him, Thanasis, it's okay to celebrate, but listen, you got to go back. Don't get us a tech. So a chance to put him in front, and his numbers keep going up. Antetokounmpo with 15 points, eight rebounds. What you would expect, but the, they've been hard points to come by. And this time he does complete the three-point play. Out of. Zainal behind the arc. And Giannis with the rebound. It's so much easier to say Giannis, isn't it, than Antetokounmpo. Here he goes. 
Again, hands it off, Agravanis. Balvin guarding the rim, Papa Petru. Agravanis with the rebound. They share it again, and Agravanis can't get it to drop. Bohacic for three, count it. The checks move back in front. It's seven three-pointers now from 14 attempts for the Czechs. Papa Petru tries to answer, follows up his miss. <laughs> Bounce pass to Kislink. And two free throws awarded. The blocking foul called on Laren Zakis. Look at this. Is that a travel? Nope. Ooh. Ooh, he rolled his ankle. And Atutis doesn't want to get a technical foul, dances. Stands back. I think uh, Dakutis, member of the 2005 team, is over there sitting behind the bench. Uh, Kislink is injured. He's, look at him. He's in a little bit of pain. Definitely. We've seen several guys roll their ankles on drives. First, Mike, it's like a March Madness in what month are we in? September. September. Several months early. It's our fourth game today. We got to hold it together, and it's uh, Jeff. Game after game is keeping us. Game after game have been thrilled. unbelievable. The competition, the because excitement. Kisling, oh, look at that. Nobody boxes out Balvin. He passes back outside to Sainal. The checks have moved back up by one. Kisling trying to loosen up his ankle in the right corner. Final seconds on the shot clock. Sainal for three. And again, another offensive rebound. Chris, they've got to hurry, though. Kisling puts it up from a long way out. Are you kidding me? You cannot be serious. Kisling with the long three-pointer, and the Czechs continue to pile on the pressure for this Greece team. Laren is right in his grill, and it didn't matter. Nothing but net. Greek defense, a rolled ankle, none of that mattered. The heart of the Czech Republic team on display here to finish the third quarter, four-point lead. You know, you look at the shooting numbers with Jeff, let's focus on Czech Republic, 23 assists to seven turnovers for the Greek team, 11 assists to eight turnovers. Czech Republic, 30 points in the paint compared to 20 for the Greek team. How about Galathis tonight? He's a playmaker, but he's had to take some shots and he's been knocking them down. Three of five from three point range. He's got six assists, had a good game. And, you know, Giannis has had to really battle for his points. He's done well, but what we have from the Czech Republic is they just continue to make shots themselves, eight of 16. In these pressure possessions, pressure situations, they're able to execute together, whether it's a pick and roll, whether it's a pin down screen, whether it's a post up. Again, this is the experience of playing together in these big moments and big stages.
Fourth quarter underway here in Berlin, the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Giannis Antetokounmpo in Greece, trailing the Czech Republic. And Larizakis comes up with a steal for Greece. Nowhere to go, good defense, Chris, he stops the, sh the shot. What an insertion Larizakis has been. He's brought much needed yeah, impetus. And this is what they've needed, that heart, that energy. Good defense here. Is. Papa Petru, Larenzakis again. He's not afraid to make plays. There's Papa Petru. Oh, some good fortune. The three pointer hits the front of the rim and bounces over. Hey, he'll take it. Greece will take it. Greece will take the really good teamwork. Couple paint touches, good ball movement, and shooter's touch. Ruban, Balvin, Bohacic, Sainal, and Chris on the court, and a turnover. Chris appealing for an unsportsmanlike. They will talk about it. They can always look at it if they want to. So again, we've got to get the ball into Thomas Sadoransky's hands to be the playmaker. Ruban attacking. Well, they've called the unsportsman like without even review. Wow. But here comes Sadoransky and Vesely back into the game. The Czechs have won three quarters of this game, but it's a four quarter game. And this is setting up to be a fantastic fourth quarter. Papa Petru goes to the line to make the first of the two free throws. Were you surprised I didn't even look at it? I was. They've, they've been consistent at looking at all of the, the reviews, but apparently, as they discussed it, they all came to the conclusion it was an obvious call. Okay. And Papa Petru makes both. Thanasis and Co. So excited they can barely... Watch, Thanasis has to stand up at the end of the bench. He can't sit down. And Jeff, listen to the crowd here in the Berlin Mercedes-Benz Arena. Hellas, Hellas, Greece, Greece. A good job by this crew tonight. They want to check something out. Nearly a minute in. These Greek fans have been amazing tonight. Providing the atmosphere. And the Czech team has also been thriving on it. It has to be said. Quick pass over to Papa Petru. He passes it up. He goes in and he's fouled. Two free throws. Terrific decision. Again, Antetokounmpo reading the floor, making the pass, attacking the closeout. Papa Petru beats Balvin and the foul at the rim from the shot blocker, Vesely. Looking to build on the one point lead. He just made two free throws. Greece have done very well at the line, 16 of 18 as a team. And Papa Petru makes another one, and he's having a big game. 13 points now. He's perfect at the line. Four of seven from the floor overall. on the checks now, down two. Sadoransky at the elbow is going to try to take it. So he's going to get blocked. Great defense. 
by Papa Petra, who also does it on defense. And Jeff, we've seen Goran Dragic get into the paint and find a way to get a shot off here. Sadoransky trying to create really good defense from Greece and an important possession. We've got a two-point Greek lead, 840 to play. We've seen better teamwork and ball movement for Greece here as the second half has gone on. And now we've got Giannis Antetokounmpo as the primary ball handler in floor spacing for Greece. Here he is. Hands it off to Slukas. Papa Petro is the man with the hot hand right now. And Slukas misses. And then up to Alda. It's a good idea. Sadoransky saw Alda posting up Slukas just a little too far on the ball ahead pass. Laren Zakas attacking. Sadoransky coming up from behind, trying to force a turnover, a steal. Papa Petra from the right. Alda has it knocked out of his hands. Alda trips up or falls, and Laren Zakas gets it up. And Satoransky called for a foul, knocking it away. Laren Zakas slow to get up. And Sadorowski trying to get his team together. Still just a two-point game. Greeks have the momentum, yet it's just a two-point game. Kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of basketball left to be played. We're playing this one possession by possession. Laren Sakas inspiring his team with energy and effort. I mean, that's actually a good foul from Sadoransky to stop the break. And Tontecompo, ooh, just grazed the rim, but Papa Nicolau were there for it. Is he gonna try it again? He is, and this time it's long, and another long rebound out to Papa Nicolau. Lucas, bounce pass, Papa Petru, nope, and Ruban. Ruban for three, and the Czechs reclaim the lead. You can see the Giannis has not hit a three tonight. Lucas for three, gets it right back. Again, one thing he will do is hit that shot. Great job by Slukas hitting a big shot here, matching Ruban. There's Sadoraski inside, and oh, they missed the layup. Vesely follows. Now a chance to run for Greece. Lerzakis back to the free. Here he goes, puts it up. And Antetokounmpo has had a struggle shooting it from deep, but he's now got 18 points. Look at him. How do you stop this? I mean, the footwork, the length, He's weaving his way through people. This is beautiful athleticism, graceful finish. Greece, 11 to three here in the fourth quarter. Let's go now, shake down. Let's go now, shake down. Patio give the screen, okay? If you don't start the road, right? Watch out your face, shake down. Okay, Patio is the down, Okay. 
It's been a brilliant performance from the Czechs today, but in the fourth quarter, they are being outscored here at the Eurobasket Arena, 11 to three. And Papa Petru, well, that was one of the shots that has fallen for him. And then he got the block. He fouled Seth Aransky actually on the way up there. Clearly on the arm. And again, the decision to put Larenzakis into the game has certainly paid dividends as well. Here's Rubon. He gets in, he gets rejected by Giannis at the rim. And foul called on Bohacic, trying to take a charge, stepping in front of Giannis at the compo. And have they called a technical foul? So Ruban gets in and not in my house. And it really is his house with so many Greek fans here. And now they've called it the technical foul on Ginsburg. So did they have, he had a technical earlier? Is that right? Because if the question I thought they is, had a bench tech. Was it on Ronan before or the bench? The bench. It must have been the bench because Coach Ginsburg is still in the arena. Well, we saw Pozeco have to leave earlier. And Tudis is uh, just warning everybody over there, listen, don't say something that you'll regret and get us a technical. So now it's a five-point game. Still time for the Czech Republic, but they're struggling almightily here in the fourth quarter offensively. Larenzakis, he makes it. Again, if you pack the paint, Anthony Tacopo makes a great decision, finds Larenzakis' big three, but it's really just floor spacing at this point. Five and a half minutes remaining, and the Greeks almost force a turnover. Bohacic, oh, very difficult three with Giannis flying right at him. And Papa Nikolaou rebounds the miss, and the Greeks now in control, up by eight. Put it in there. Well, you have to win complicated games like this at a Phoebe Eurobasket sometimes to march to the title. Larenzakis short. Bohacic over to Rubai. And they spread it out again. 4.49 to go. Just the first foul on Greece in this fourth quarter. And Jeff, we are into winning time. The last five minutes of the fourth quarter. When the big plays have to be made. Here's Bohacic. Gets in the paint and gets it to go. Really nice finish there. Used the shot fake. Went up strong despite the contesting defense. Finished well. Nice play, Bohacic. It's Lucas. Gets around. And Alda now called for a foul. A grab. Four fouls and the checks over the limit, so Slukas goes to the line. It's probably the biggest problem they've got now. The way this team has been shooting free throws, 18 of 21 tonight. Dirk Nowitzki looking down from the basketball box. His personal box? It might be the Nowitzki box. Seems like they should hang his jersey, which they've got it in the rafters. 
in front of the Nowitzki box. But then you might not be able to see. The Greek fans finally a lot of an opportunity to sing to dance as their team has an eight point lead. Vesely turns, gets it to go. Again, used his body so well, despite the traffic going on around him. Created his space for his shot and great touch for Jan Vesely. More quiet in the second half, but that's a great bucket right there for the Czech Republic. Greece called timeout, leading by six. Their game plan and, and their effort together. We've still got four minutes to go. It's a six point game. Anything can happen. But right now, Greece with the momentum. Lucas gets to the baseline, out to Papa Nicolau, Papa Petru for three, and this one doesn't drop. And a push off some Czech player. So out of, yep, a clear push. Good call by the ref. But Jeff, how well has Patrick Outta played out here today? He's been a real boost to the team off the bench. Yeah, it's just a, it's a battle. Yeah, he's a soldier that has now gone down. Yeah, and you you are asked to play a role for your team. He's brought physicality. He's made plays on the offensive side. He's executed the game plan, and he gave up. He used his five fouls. So Papa Nicolau, Greece have shot their free throws well tonight, but now down to 83 percent after that miss. 20 of 24. Does get the second. And a seven point lead. Ruban. Pohachik Satoransky. They get it to Vesely over oh. to Balvin. What, what a finish. A play. Unbelievable. The, the keeping the ball high, the tap, the tip, Larry the Bird tip makes. pass. Great play. Fantastic, Jan Vesely. Sadoransky, Balvan. Now the Czechs need to stop, but they're not going to get it. They couldn't keep him out. He drove away from the shrink, away from the bodies to the baseline, and used his athleticism and length. 
And Zakas reaches in and commits a foul. It's only the second team foul on Greece in this quarter. Look at this. That's just, Balvin is not going to stop him. He's got to bend his again, knees and move his feet. Textbook, he attacks the top leg, the front leg. And again, the foot speed and athleticism not there in that matchup for Balvin. Zatoransky again, another one. Boy, how did they score that? Hey. Terrific lob, terrific finish by Balvin, but they can't trade baskets. Sadoransky, 14 assists. Great game. 20 points now for Antetokounmpo as well. Here he is putting it up from three, and it's good. Feeling a little better now, isn't he? The first three for him tonight, 23 points. Third team foul on Greece as Kalathis holds Ruban. Look at this. It is a case of just being able to relax, isn't it? Yeah, he hit he hit the most important one. Defensively, Greece now switching off the ball screens on Bohacic, trying to take his catch and shoot situations away. Switching the same on Ruban. They get it to Balvin again. All ball says the referee. And it's at the Compo hands it off, and that's goal interference. Again, Czech Republic executing their game plan. They put bodies at Antetokounmpo, three guys in front of him, cutting in behind Larenzaikis. He's been a really big factor in today. Yeah, this he's game. really changed the game. He and Papa Petru. Ten points to deficit. The problem for the Czechs now is they're not stopping Greece. Look for their screen the screener action again for Vojta Ruban. Nice. And they get it to Balvin. They were so concerned about the catch and shoot from Ruban. It opened up the slip. Nice play there from the Czech Republic, countering their action. Balvin now with 12 points. He scored a bunch here in the last minute. Larenzakis from the right corner. Not sure he needed to take that shot. Did he? Early in the shot clock? Yes. And again, Vesely puts it up, and he gives it a drop. So this is a six-point swing. Again, Kalathis talking to Larenzakis. Hey, we need to use the clock here. Again, what do we see? Czech Republic throwing over the top to get the big men down low after the switches. And Vesely, we know, is a finisher. Uh, Vesely's just been terrific. 18 points. He's going to the line. Timeout. 126. Still some work to do for Greece. Here is one of the lobs to Balvin, who puts it up just ahead of Antetokounmpo. And then here's another lob down to Vesely, who goes up and the reach. But Jeff, you talked about it, the quick shot on the last possession, yeah. unnecessary. You know, right now you have a six point game. At that point, it was an eight point game. So Larenzakis goes back out. Still 
great impact on the game by Larenzakis. Lucas and Kalathis in the backcourt now for Greece. He's definitely improved those free throws since 2013. 100%. Great job, Jan Vesely. Can they drive a nail in the coffin with a shot with a basket? Taking time off the clock. Kalathis over to Papa Nicolau for three. And terrific job by Balvin getting the rebound. Nice. Bohacic open. And Atetokounmpo with the rebound. Really good offense from the Czech Republic there. Wide open three. Time on the side of Greece right now. If this goes in, it's probably over. Oh, he rattles it in. 91-83, 26 points for Giannis. Vesely quickly to the other end. It's a little bit of hope for the Czechs. Uh-oh. And the foul on Vesely. Here's Giannis hitting the three, his second of the game. Good camera work there. Well, they, they were probably not feeling really good for about three quarters tonight. Well, Czech Republic, you've got to give them tremendous respect. These guys came in and controlled the tempo and played together. They executed their game plan. When the teamwork and ball movement improved for the Greek team, they hit more shots. They broke the game open. But again, you've got to win these difficult, challenging, let's say ugly games if you're going to win a championship. And, you know, credit to Greece today, making the adjustments, figuring, solving the puzzle, figuring it out, and putting themselves in a position to win. Well said, Mike. If he misses this one, it could be interesting. He just missed one. He's taking his time. He's 8 of 11 at the line, and he makes that one. So he's now 9 of 12. The clock is the enemy. The checks, they have to go down. They've got to put up a shot quickly. And Giannis knocks it away. Rubon gets it back. Preci in the game. Good. Well, that's what he was practicing after halftime. they got to hurry. they got to get a stop. Back to a four-point game. 7.6 seconds left. Papianis coming in, Tudis clapping his players. And he really did figure it out. He kind of let the game come to him, didn't he, more so tonight. Yeah, you respect the fact that when you've got three bodies in front of you, you're finding your teammates. Again, very good teamwork here in the second half from Greece. I mean, he let the game come to him, but he's still got a huge game. 27 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, 9 of 12 from the line. One turnover, made good decisions. Couple blocks. Lucas gets him to go, and here's Vic Kretschy. Back to Ruban, he put up another three. And the Eurobasket comes to an end for the Czech Republic. What a performance for Greece. Talented. They came together as a team tonight through the adversity. And they win it to take on, to take the, the spot in the quarterfinals. Greece 94, the Czech Republic 88.
And Mike, I don't know if we're gonna, how far this Greece team will go, but they certainly have their chances. They're three wins away from the title, but there's some good teams in front of them. And for the Czech Republic, I guess it's very likely the end of the road for some of these guys. Yeah, they've been outstanding for the national team program for almost a decade. They've accomplished a lot. You know, Sadaransky returning to Europe this year, Barcelona. You know, these guys have done so many great things as we see the numbers. Czech Republic, better numbers in many, most of the the number, the stats across the board. Greece, more rebounds. 32 assists for the Czech Republic. Outstanding ball movement and teamwork. But again, these guys have elevated basketball in the Czech Republic. And it's a hard-fought loss. But give Greece credit. They found a way, and they're moving on. Eight of their 12 three-pointers coming in the second half. And the likes of Papa Petru certainly crucial tonight. He was one of two from three-point range at halftime. And he finished, well, he finished two of eight. Seemed like he had more than that, but he made some other he shots hit, as well. He played, made big plays defensively. He hit big shots. And it means as uh, Greece get this win, they will take on Germany. And I guess it's exciting, great opportunity for Germany. And they're they're exciting team. They're, they're not going to be an easy opponent either. Uh, not with Franz Wagner, not with Dennis Schroeder, not with Mauro Lowe, Johannes Thiemann, uh, Tice, all of these guys. It's going to be a battle, but you know what? This is Europe's premier competition. It's about stepping up with your best performance and being the best when it matters the most. And we are closing in on a fantastic Final Four. Jeff, these eight games yesterday and today, every single one of them, their own identity, fantastic competition, the big upset with... Italy beating Serbia, overtime games. I mean, amazing results here at Eurobasket in Berlin. Well, it was, we finally broke the string of four 94-86 score lines. This one finished 94-88, can you believe it? Amazing. It was almost 94-86 again. Not that that matters, but it just seemed like weird things were going on today. Uh, Vesely scoring that one. And, you know, let's be realistic. A lot of people have made the journey here to watch Antetokounmpo. So I, I would suggest that the majority in this crowd is relieved that they've been able to get their money's worth, so to speak, watching, watching him perform. But, again, for those of us that have watched, especially the Czech Republic, you know, going back to 2013 and growing, you have to be, uh, you have to have mixed emotions about them. So it's Germany and Greece in the upper left, and they will take on the winner of Spain, Finland in the semifinals. On the other side, it's Slovenia taking on Poland and France going up against Italy. So the winner of those two games will meet as well. Well, nobody gave uh, the Czech Republic much of a chance, really, coming up against Greece. Uh, but they certainly played like they were a team that was going to win it for three quarters. But then the fourth quarter came, and Greece outscored them 31-21. They win it 94-88. Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to the quarterfinals.
mit dem heutigen spannenden Tag. Wir sehen uns wieder am Dienstag bei der Fieber Eurobasket hier in der Arena Berlin.